Right. Simon Britton, there you are. Wow. <laughs> You're on. So easy. Morena. Morena. Are you, are you ready to go? Or do... I'm great. Okay. All good, thank you. Um, thank you very much. I'm here today in my capacity as a resident of Barnes Road in Redwood. Uh, I'll come back to uh, some of the comments that have been made on that road in a moment. I did just want to take councillors on a quick tour of this road. For those who are not familiar, this is at the north end of Redwood, uh, just west of Main North Road. Uh, this is what it looks like turning into the street, on, if you're on a bicycle at least, uh, and on a little bit of a lean. Uh, we're at the speed limit transitions currently from 60 kilometres now on Main North Road to 50 currently on along the lengths of Barnes Road. Uh, and Barnes Road, I'm told by residents who have been in the area a long time, was one of the first living streets constructed in Christchurch. As we move into the street, uh, you'll see it's very narrow and has a kind of a chicane going on. Uh, so it, it, historically it was a normal sort of full width road like you see in that area. Uh, <coughs> and there's been significant build-outs, uh, as you can see. Sorry, the picture doesn't come up quite so well on the um, big screen. Um, uh, build-outs to the left and then further down uh, to the right, so cars can park those in, narrows the street, uh, and the street, I uh, don't have a measurement for it, but it's it's wide enough for two cars to park pass if there's nobody parked there. Uh, it's a couple of cyclists on the right in this picture. Uh, it's a street that's pretty heavily used by cyclists. Uh, living on the street, I see students from St Joseph School, St Bede's, Papanui High School, Casebrook Intermediate at least, uh, that use the street on a regular basis. In the future, fingers crossed, uh, it will have a really good connection through to the Northern Line Cycleway, of course. Uh, further along, uh, for vehicles parked on the side of the road uh, as it is here, uh, things narrow up a lot. There's only one room for one vehicle at a time to pass through the street. Uh, the other thing that, uh, yeah, I was going to pause on the railway line. I haven't got a railway line photo in here. The railway line's further ahead than this, uh, about halfway down the street. Uh, we have Barnes Reserve on the left. Uh, as it's taken in this photo, uh, and just further along here, Aylsham Reserve on the right as well. And this is an area where a lot of pedestrians cross. There's a lot of people that walk in this area. It connects, connects really nicely through to Regent's Park. Uh, and Barnes Reserve uh, is part, of course, of the Northern Line Cycleway, uh, waiting at the moment for that connection between Starrix and Pluckers Road to the south, which I anticipate will significantly increase cycle traffic, sort of connecting locally along this road. Uh, and will connect to the north as well. Uh, another point to note further down here, there's recent years there's been a wee industrial development on the left, which is bringing uh, increased commercial vehicles to the area, and there's a null landing distribution centre in there, which, so we see some larger trucks come through there. Uh, we've also got the uh, local fire station only a couple of streets away, and we, at times we see fire appliances transit down here to and from. And towards the western end of the street, uh, you can see there's some footpath here on the left. It's a pretty poor grade of service. Uh, hopefully you've got these slides uh, in your folder. Uh, you'll see them a little bit better than they're coming up here. Uh, frequently there are vehicles parked on the left side of this road. Uh, generally, I believe, people that are working uh, either in the retirement village at the end of the road or uh, the wee industrial park further around the corner. Uh, there's a lot of damage to the grass. This is just coming back in the other direction. It's pretty common to see what you see here, which is a vehicle parked over the verge and fully over the path, pedestrian path as well. So pedestrians here, if they're out walking their dogs or doing whatever they want to do, have got no option other than to walk on this very narrow 50 kilometre an hour stretch of road. Uh, so to submissions, uh, I've just pulled up four comments here in this local area. Uh, the one on the top left uh, is me, which comments on Barnes Road being narrow, a living street, and, and having poor pedestrian facilities, and, and requesting a reduction that picked up some likes, uh, reasonable ratio of likes to dislikes. Uh, as did another commenter just to the right, at the top right on this picture, uh, asking for greater parts of the area to have reduced speeds. Uh, and a really couple of interesting comments on Starrick's Road as well, which is just to the south, uh, particularly highlighting how busy that area is uh, with sports in Redwood Park, uh, and there's a fantastic comment there on um, Starrix Road on the bottom right. Uh, yeah, it's a relatively wide wide road with uh, reasonably high speeds, uh, and we got 68 likes and only four dislikes to a request for support in that area too. So 
Yeah, my ask as a resident is to please consider extending just a couple more streets to the north on the side of Redwood, the reduced speed area to improve safety and amenity for residents. Very clear and concise. Thank you, Simon. Thank We've you got um, staff here recording your, um, note, noting your um, submission and, and your key points, so they are taken on board. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Cheers. All right, and finally.